What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another Star Wars unboxing video. Today we are unboxing the three pack from the Obi-Wan Kenobi TV show. Stick around. There we have it. Tika, Phase 2 Purge Trooper and Ben Kenobi in the blue shirt there with the uh, uh, soft goods around the neck. So Tika the Jawa, Phase 2 Purge Trooper and Ben Kenobi all in the three pack here. Different languages. Very flashy, very nice. I believe you can only get these figures in this pack. I may be wrong, but here we have them all in the vintage collection. And if I am not mistaken, all unpunched. So this is going to be super special. Let's open it up. So if you haven't already, make sure and smash that like and subscribe button here on YouTube. Really, really helps. Check out the links in the description for all of my social media accounts. Check out what I'm doing, guys. Thanks so much. All right, now that we're opened up, slide these guys out. Beautiful. They are all unpunched. Beautiful Jawatika. That even sounds cool to say. Jawatika. So we have unboxed in this series quite a few. Cal Kestis, Cassian Andor, the Artillery Trooper, and Luke Skywalker in the Light Cruiser from the Vintage Collection. So here we have Tika, very nice. Purge Trooper in the Phase 2. Love these guys. These guys really stood out in the uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi show. Love the new armor. We, we've seen the uh, Phase 1 Purge Troopers in the Star Wars uh, Force. Which one is it, guys? The Force, uh, yeah, Fallen Order. There we go, Fallen Order. We've seen the Phase 1 Purge Troopers in the Fallen Order. Pretty cool to see the upgraded armor. This is a really, really cool card. That is super cool. Look at the light out of my face there. There we go. That's a super cool card. Looks fantastic. Man, this is going to be so much fun. Let's open these guys up. So I know the Obi-Wan Kenobi TV show itself was a little disappointing for some. I know some people liked it. I enjoyed it. We got to see Darth Vader do all kinds of fun stuff. Got to see Obi-Wan find himself again. So, not a total disappointment in, in uh, my book. Let me know what you thought of it in the comments. I'd love to hear about it. There's one. Just do a mass opening here. Kind of defeating the purpose. There we go. There's two. Obi-Wan Kenobi, last but certainly not least, and that was a clean opening, not bad, so a couple different parts there, let's clean this up, alright, now that everything is opened up and organized, let's go through what we got here, a lot of accessories, three figures, man, these are some of the best cards I've ever seen. Look at, I'm, let me just bring this up closer here. Just looking at them, they're like, look at that trooper. That is a great, I'm so glad that I opened it the way I did. Let's go ahead and uh, uh, go through these, the trooper first. So he's gonna have your standard E11 blaster. Looks great. And the trooper himself, man. Shiny as all get out. Look at that. That's great. I mean, that's how it's supposed to look. Looks great under light. Reflects it well. The visor looks tremendous. I'm hoping that it's a little bit better than the Phase 1. Because that guy was a little wanky. Let's go ahead and see what we can do with this guy. Get him posed up in a single pose. Oh yeah, I mean, look at this. Looks great. Out to hunt a Jedi. Very menacing looking. I love the black and red. The visor is tremendous. Great figure. Moving on. We'll go ahead and open up Tika because he definitely has the most accessories here. Got the little Jawa blaster. Some something. It's like a lantern maybe. And then a box of stuff. Maybe. Yeah. Rolled up supplies there. 
and Tika himself, which I, I enjoyed seeing the Java with the uh, uh, little coat on. That was kind of cool. So let's go ahead and see what we have here. Is this a lantern? Could be. Or maybe it's just some kind of a part. Either way, it's cool. You can probably use it for a lantern. Does it have any indication there? I don't think so. Roll of scrap. And the Jawa Blaster, which I, I, I'm not really sure if this is lethal. Maybe stone only. Drop me a comment in the comment section. And Tika himself, which looks great. This is my very first Tatooine Jawa. Because as we found out on the Mandalorian, and I've unboxed two of them, they're great figures. We have off-world Jawas, which wear gray. So, Tatooine Jawas, brown. Off-world Jawas, gray. That's the distinction. That's it. Let's go ahead and pose up Tika. So Tika is very, very small, but he can hold his little package here. See so the eyes kind of glow in the light. That's pretty cool. But the articulation of the arm is very, very stiff and very, very limited. And chances of him holding this, uh, uh, whatever this thing is, bla uh, Jawa blaster is slim and done. He, he can hold it. It fits in this hand right here because the hand is specifically crafted for that. But it's one hand only. Because this hand really doesn't stay over there. So he can hold it, but it's just kind of limited. Great little figure. Moving on to last but not least, we have Obi-Wan Kenobi, or better known as Ben Kenobi. Backpack. We have lightsaber with blade. Lightsaber hilt without blade. And if I can get into it, come on, you devil. There you go. The blaster pistol. And Obi Wan Kenobi himself, Ben Kenobi. Taking a look at the lightsabers. These are tremendous. I really can't get past how good those cards look. Lightsabers look great, very straight, very nice. Almost like the Disney co uh, collection where one has a thicker neck than the other when the blade is installed. I wonder if they've done that uh, just for the Disney <laughs> lightsabers. That's pretty funny. Blaster pistol. And a very nice backpack. Probably equipped that through the vintage collection Indiana Jones. And what a great Obi-Wan Kenobi. I love this outfit. The soft good cloak. You can stick something underneath there, have it flowing out, or even buy a second handling with wires in it, which may be a little bit hard to do. I'm not even sure anybody does it. Let's go ahead and put the blaster pistol in the holster. If it goes. Wow, that, there it goes. That is a little bit of a pain, but once it gets in there, it's in there. So very nice articulation, being this is a brand new figure. That's the articulation I love to see in the uh, legs. Just moves all around very nicely. Very nice head sculpt. Very, very nice head sculpt. Very nice. Let's go ahead and get Ben Kenobi posed up. So all on its own, the soft goods cloak wants to stand out just like that, which is just perfect for this pose. Got the wind blowing out there. It even stays out when you hold it flat. So that's pretty cool. Not bad at all. And the pose is super easy to do. Obviously the iconic Obi-Wan Kenobi pose of the lightsaber over the head. And it would be kind of cool to have a swapped out hands, you know, just him showing, you know, the two fingers or, or whatever. But yeah, great, great figure. Great posability where it's the brand new figure. Man, this three pack is super impressive. So there we have it guys. The three pack that I've been waiting for for a little while. And I'm glad I got it from the Obi-Wan Kenobi series. 
Phase 2 Purge Trooper, Ben Kenobi, and Tika with accessories. They all had quite a few accessories, except for the Purge Trooper, he only has the uh, blaster. That's really all he needs, right? Great, great figures. The posability is there for all of them, except for Tika. Tika's a little bit limited, but it is a smaller figure. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. Let me know in the comments below. Let me guys... Let me guys, how about that? Thank you guys <laughs> so much for watching my videos. I really, really appreciate it. Smash the like and subscribe button here on YouTube. Check out the link in the description for all my social media accounts and make sure to ring the notification bell. Thank you guys once again and may the force be with you.